Hey there, money makers. This is Biz and Jobs here presenting you with new work from home job. So let's get to the job. Let's get to the jobs. Hey. All right. So all the jobs I have for you, they're going to be entry level. And I also have some entry level night jobs as well. Okay. So let's get into it. We have you ho. All right. They're looking for a e-live verification phone agent. And as you can see here, it says moonlighter, which means um, the later shift. Now let's get into the rest here. The pay is going to be $16 per hour. And as you can see, they have all kind of different shifts here. They're on Arizona time. So you would have to convert it to whatever time zone you are in. They have shifts. Um, let's see here, Monday to Sunday, um, anywhere from 12 a.m. to 11 a.m., Monday through Tuesday. They have 10 to 11, um, 10 a.m. to 11 p.m., Wednesday through Thursday, 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. So you get it. Just check all the shifts over here, and they have all kind of different shifts. Um, Friday shift starts at 4 a.m., um to 11 so they have all kind of different shifts so just check those out all right and it says you need 25 hours of availability per week and must be able to work some saturdays and sundays as well and some um holidays all right and it says they have a medical uh reimbursement plan and this is for um the part time even available for the part time people cuz sometimes people don't give benefits to um, the part-time people as well. Let me go back up here and make sure. Okay, they didn't say full-time or part-time up here. Okay, so we are going to stick with they need part-time is what it's looking like. Because it says um, part-time live verify uh, agents, okay? So we're going to stick with the part-time. So this is part-time then. And it says you'll be claiming sessions for customers doing business with us via truck share 24-7. Review each session for accuracy while answering any questions the customer may have. Determine the proper course of action utilizing instructional materials reviewed. Make outbound calls for verification of alternate contacts. Communicate with the customer via phone or chat. Ensure compliance with U-Haul policies. Review telephone, mail, and internet procedures for each communication. And listen to commu uh commuters <laughs> listen to customer concerns documenting them and resolving when able when able all right and then let's get to the requirements okay and see what you need to succeed it says you need to be a good listener great with verbal and written communication it says they prefer you to have some type of phone experience, but you don't have to have it. Excellent customer service skills. And it says preferred one year of customer service experience, but that's preferred, not required. It says you need to be um, technically, uh, it's, yeah, it does say technically uh, savvy preferred. <laughs> then it says logic and reasoning skills and that is about it and this right here that's just telling you about training and you need to have a quiet area and this is just talking about um the equipment and your internet so we don't need to read all of that okay so check this out uh part-time nights is what this looks like okay so let's move forward and u-haul is easy to get on with and they are a fast hire by the way, moving on, we have one support here. They need a virtual customer service rep. And remember, reply to everything. By the time this video is posted, it's posted at 12, some of these links are going to be gone. All right, because it's entry level and that's what everybody wants, just to remind you. Okay, so we have one support here. <coughs> Excuse me. They're looking for a virtual customer service representative. 100% from home, of course. Now, the only thing about this job that I really don't like is this job is $12 an hour, okay? So if you already have a position, use this as a second position, all right? Or if you're desperate. And I say that because most people are not going to fill out for a 12-hour job, $12 an hour job. So therefore, if you apply, most likely you're going to get it, all right? So use this as like a second job, okay? Because I don't think this can really support you with this being your main position, and let's see what else they have here. It says they have full benefits as well. And it says you'll be a customer service rep. You can take pride in your work as you follow up on client cases, ensuring that their customers receive the um, support they deserve. Let your passion for helping others shine through. 
All right, and you'll be making a difference in people's lives every day. Yes, that's what it says. And it just says you'll need a computer, headset, blah, blah, blah. You can read all that yourself, so forth as webcam and all that. Then it says you need to have customer service skills. Um, you don't need experience, and you need to be able to type 40 words per minute, even if you can't still apply. All right, and then it says they only hire in certain states, so make sure you read that as well. And they have full-time and part-time positions open, as I said, $12 an hour. And it says full-time benefits. It says they have day shift, evening shift, and night shift open. Okay, so this can be a night position for you if that's what you need. And it says you need to have weekend availability as well. And right now, what they really need is someone for day shift and night shift. All right, and these are just talking about you need to be a team player and all that stuff. You are already that, my love. So we're going to move on, on, on to Alorica. They need a healthcare customer service rep. This is going to be $15 an hour. You'll be assisting customers with issues and concerns they are experiencing during the use of the product and our service. Document call-related information for auditing and reporting purposes. Maintain and update customer information as necessary and upsell current customers on new or enhanced services. All right, let's see what you need. You need a high school diploma. They said if you have experience in customer service, it's a plus. All right, that's what it says right here, but you do not need it because this is entry level. You need to know Microsoft Office and just have good communication skills. And this right here is just talking about um, the computer system. That's all. And then um, it looks like here they have full benefits. So what you would do for this job is do your application and then you'll complete an online assessment and um, their team will review your application. And here are all the states that they hire in. So check that first so you will not waste your time. And a lot of these things, guys, are on Facebook that you might need help with. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not going to say anything else. You know what I'm talking about. If you need help with certain things, hop on Facebook. They got help for you. Moving on, we have Alorica again. They're just looking for a regular customer um, experience associate. This is going to be $16 an hour because the other one we read before that was health uh, healthcare customer service, okay? All right, so this is the same description as the other one, assist customers with issues and concerns they are experiencing with the product or service. You're going to be documenting the, uh, the call, maintaining update customer information and upsell the customer. Same exact description as the last one. You need high school diploma. That is about it. Full benefits. And it's the same thing, application, assessment, interview. All right. Moving on, we have Conduit here. They are easy to get on with. Now, this is a remote claims processor. You're not on the phone a lot with this job. You're only on the phone if there's like a discrepancy or something missing, something like that. But other than that, you're not on the phone um, too much. This is going to be $18 per hour. This is going to be 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. That'll be your training time Monday through Friday. All right. And production hours start at 8 a.m. You'll be reviewing and researching claims, all right? Determine if the claim is valid to approve. Process claims on a web-based application. Complete assignments using multiple source documents to verify data or use additional information to do the work. Follows up on pending documents involving analysis. All right, and all you need to be is 18 and have a high school diploma. That is about it with that. All right, so we are going to move on. As I said, entry level, and you're not on the phone as much with that, with a claims processor job. All right, if I didn't say the um, name of the job. All right, and moving on, we have a remote call center customer service rep. This is the same company, Con uh, Conduit, and they, um, this is $16 per hour. They have paid training, and they also have full-time with full benefits. All right, your training will be eight to five for five to six weeks. Uh, shifts will be available anytime between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. And then it says uh, Monday and Thursday, 8 a.m., somewhere between 8 and 5 on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday as well. Like I said, paid training, career growth opportunities as well. All right, so you'll act as the initial point of contact for inquiries for from potential and existing. It looks like, I guess this is New Jersey Family Care Beneficiaries and community-based organizations related to the New Jersey Family Care Program provide one-to-one -one 
telephone contact with applicants, beneficiaries, and enrollees in customer service roles, accurately document enrollees' requests, status changes, complaints, and grievances, enter application and enrollment information into a web-based computer system for customers wishing to apply for the program over the telephone, maintain technical and program policy proficiency in the New Jersey Family Care Rules, Guidelines, and other related program policies, provide clear, complete, accurate, and objective information based on a full understanding of the program. All right, so it says requirements. You just need basic understanding of the call center environment and be able to uh, speak clearly. You need a high school diploma, and they do do a background and drug screen. All right. And then they have here states that are not applicable for this position. All right. So make sure your state is not here. If it's if it's here, you don't even need to apply. All right. It is just that simple. All right. So those are all the entry level jobs apply to all of them. I hope that some of the links are still up by the time um, this video goes up at, you know, I always post at 12. So I hope the links are still available for you and just apply to all of them if you are entry level and be sure to tailor your resume. All right. Talk to you later and thank you so much for watching.